We call him Kua, and he has autism. Okay, don't run. If you walk, you can have it. If you walk. When he turned one, he started saying his ABCs, his one, two, threes. He would sing. He'd say, hi, mama. You know, hi, dada. Like, he would talk. Maybe two weeks before he turned two, we started just noticing he was starting to get more quiet. He wasn't looking at you and then he just regressed really fast. I'll let you go right here, okay? Okay. Okay. Come on, let's go! Okay. Let's go! No running. Have a kiss. No running, okay? Okay, here you go. Wait till mom comes out. No running, no running. I talk. I know, so do I. So it's just gonna take more time for Kua. Cool. Lama already told you and explained to you what is going on with him. Oh, yeah. Here is your child that you have been with every day of their life. They know you, they see you, and then all of a sudden it's like, it's almost like you're a stranger to them. You know, and you don't know this kid anymore either. It's like what happened to this like fun loving, happy, talkative little boy that you knew. It's devastating. Like I, f you feel helpless and you feel lost. You feel really lost. There's like an appropriate word to describe it because it's just, it's hard. It's really hard. Let's go, get lined up. Come on, same thing. Isaiah, Isaiah Anthony, same thing. Faster. Go ahead. Football is huge in our family. Every boy in our families have played it. It was their sport, it was everything. Longa, my oldest, started when he was five, and you know, he had his first year in tackle this year. With Kua, I definitely wanted to just try it with him with football and just see how he does. Maybe we'll get something out of him. You know, maybe it'll be good for him. And so it was really important that I just gave him a chance. And so we did. I think eventually, I really think he'll be, I think he'll be good. If you could just get him to break into this routine, I think he'll, he might like it. Why are you 
I wish you could pay attention to like you know like the other kids. Do. It's all good. Good job. H. H. F. Good job. Okay. All right, cool. Awesome. I come in about once a week just to kind of check in, see how the programs are running, and make sure he's making progress. And if there's any concerns, then we look at the programs and um, just try to make sure that we're doing everything we can to make them work for him. What we really want to do is make that unique for each family and individualize those services to support the family in their home and in the needs that they need, you know, in the ways that they need support. So um, football is really important to the family so we found ways to incorporate that into his goals overall. Cool, who's gonna be monster? Oh, me? Do you want Naya to be a monster or Kua be monster? Naya. Do you want to be monster? Yes. Did I? Monster. This is the baby. If you get the baby, you win, okay? But you have to tag, you have to take the mom baby. Okay, take the baby, okay? All right? Okay, cool. It's changing now. Since running and chasing other people is part of football, we're playing monster tag since he really likes to, like, pretend to be a monster. <laughs> he actually mastered that pretty quickly, and then now we implemented towels, kind of. I guess make it into like more of like a flag theme. The ability to um, echo and mimic is a good foundation to build more language and, and just the ability to play and interact with others. Every time he does a drill, I'll be on the side and he would press one of these. And if he gets five, he gets either candy or I showed him this. What we'll try to do is make that, get him through practice and then um, at the end, he can get that. Okay, there you go. <sighs> look at the kids and I always like wonder, I always like look at them and I'm like, what if Kua was just like one of them? I think about it all the time. Every practice I think about how easy it would be if he could just play, you know? Of course I wish he wasn't autistic, but I wouldn't have him any other way. Like, Kua, it's what makes him Kua. Everyone bring it in. Everyone, get up right now. Come on. Hands in, real quick. War cry for the game. Let's go. We are at Kua's very first football game, official football game, and I expect absolutely nothing. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no expectations when it comes to Kua. I, you know, he brings us what he wants to bring us, so I'm just, I'm excited. War time is taking us set. War time is taking us set. War time is taking us set. Football. Don't look at me, look at the ball. Our team mom from a previous year said, are you gonna put cool in football? And I was like, I don't know, you know, she's like, I would, I would talk to Fred, call Fred. She had asked whether or not there was a division that would be age appropriate for Kua to play in. I said if he played, I would coach the team. In fact, I wouldn't even be coaching this level were it not for him. Uh, I'm just coaching it because, strictly because of him. Uh, and the idea that he is, has a, a, the normalcy to play in our league, to play a sport, that meant a great deal to me, so I'm honored to do it. All right, Tua, get a flag on, baby. We gotta get a flag on Tua, get a flag on Chase.
It's that he wasn't ready. I mean, that other kid helped him up there. He's just yeah. surprised. He's okay. I almost got a little like choked up because then he wasn't doing anything in the beginning and he was kind of fighting them. The first 11 minutes, 50 seconds was, was kind of hard and then all of a sudden I know where he stopped, you know, getting pushed around. He, he wanted to try, so that was nice to see. It was good. He did good. I'm proud of him. I, I didn't want to coach this year. I wanted to take a break. It's been a long time since I coached flag football. Even longer since I coached somebody who was five and six. But when uh, Mrs. Sue asked, it's hard to say no. So I was happy to do it, and so I did. And I got to tell you, it was the most rewarding experience of my coaching career. Where are you guys on? the right people and they're so willing to help and they care it makes a world of difference it makes this process so much easier we've come a long way but we've come a long way together <laughs> <laughs>